army of robots have been called to protect our service members from dangerous pathogens. Based in San Antonio, Zenex manufactures light strike germ zapping robots that use UV light to sterilize rooms. These robots are found in 300 medical centers across the world, including 41 VA hospitals, five Department of Defense facilities. We want to talk about it right now. We've got this robot in the studio. We're going to bring in Zenex CEO Morris Miller. Morris, great to see you. Thanks so much for joining us. My pleasure. Thank and you. And thank you for bringing in all of this, the, the, the robot. You've got this new piece here that you're going to explain to us. This is a light strike germ zapping robot to kill powerful bacteria and viruses, including Ebola, uh, MRSA, and norovirus. Tell us how this works. So inside the middle of this chamber is a xenon bulb. When you pulse it with high power, it puts out broad spectrum, highly intense UV light, and basically it will destroy the pathogens that would otherwise make people sick. So when you think about hospitals, about one in 20 patients get these infections. By disinfecting the room before they go in, you're able to protect troops, you're able to protect VAs, the, the people that go to the VAs, and keep them healthy. Yeah, because a lot of people say that it's the hospital room oftentimes that has either germs or bacteria on the walls or somewhere in the room that gets a person sick when they're trying to get out of the hospital. When you're in the hospital one day longer than you should be, you, leave, you can get sicker. Right. You shouldn't have to, you shouldn't have to worry about getting sick when in you're the in the hospital. hospital. Right. So when you think about, like you mentioned this material, this is a, we have a new disinfection pod, right? Inside is a highly reflective material because UV light doesn't typically bounce off of things. So think about isolates, things that babies go on. You can put them inside the, the disinfection pod, Flash the robot, all of a sudden it's disinfected. You might have heard about UC Irvine had 10 babies. There was another hospital, uh, 60 mothers and their newborns got MRSA. This is the kind of thing that stops that. Explain the light and why that's really the, the important character here. I mean, it looks like these robots could be the way of the future, even in sanitation. The, these robots for individual purchase, or is this being purchased by the hospitals? So it's being purchased by the hospitals. Pretty simple. When you think about going outside on a hot summer day, intense sunlight giving you a sunburn, the sun's damaged the DNA of your skin, right? The right. pathogens are just as vulnerable to that intense light. So the hospitals can go ahead and they can buy them, um, or we're actually, we, we've seen 50 to 100% reductions in infection rates in actually over 400 hospitals now. So we're looking at that and saying, hmm. you know what? Uh, we're happy to give the hospitals the robots for free. Once they get a 5% reduction in infection rate, uh, they've paid for the robots. We won't even bill them until 10%. Wow, I love it. Do we know which hospitals have them and which don't? I mean, how, how does a person know that that hospital has these, these robots? Well, number one, you should ask. Yeah, but okay. like Bronx VA has them, LAVA just bought 11. All right, we'll leave it there. Morris, great stuff. Thank you so much. Hey, thank you. We'll be watching the developments at Xenex. Morris Miller will be